Hello people, today I'm going to be talking about An Ordinary and its latest chapter that came out today, chapter 175. But before I dive into everything, I'm going to go on ahead and briefly talk about what happened in the chapter before giving my ultimate takes on it. So we first open up to Aizen, who is actually accepting an article being written about Joker. The attitude of the chapter shifts very quickly when we finally have Sarah and Arlo enter into the press room with Aizen. What is clearly revealed as to the reason why Arlo and Sarah are even there in the press room, which was brought up in the previous chapter, is that they want to discuss Terrence and maybe if Aizen knows anything about him. This pretty much encompasses the chapter as we essentially get different points on the likelihood that there is something about Terrence and his suspiciousness. And then the chapter comes near to conclusion where Sarah actually asks Aizen to look up information on a girl from New Boston named Claire, which I'll discuss more about that in a little bit. But the chapter concludes with Aizen actually looking up her information, noticing the connection with her and John, and Blyke bursting in, trying to figure out what Aizen is doing. But that concludes the chapter. Now to my takes. The first thing I noticed and one thing that I found interesting and fascinating is Aizen's acceptance on papers being written about Joker. I find that cool that he is or his perspective towards it has shifted and now is being more accepting to these type of papers being written. That was one of the first things that I found interesting and thought it was cool that we get to see that happen. And it's quite clear that even the students, even though we only really see one, the student was actually rather shocked to see that Aizen was accepting of this paper being written, though he is still, <laughs> he is not okay with grammar errors and will call you on it. I do like the funny dynamic where we have Aizen and then Arlo and Sarah walk in because the king and the former ace just walks into the press room. Obviously, Aizen would be pretty shook. We get to see a lot of his humoristic personality kind of come out in this, which was a nice touch to kind of relieve from a lot of the intense stuff that we just witnessed with John. I also liked the touch that we got later on where we get to see Aizen using his powers to detect if anyone was in the area. But as we actually get into the heart of the conversation being around Terrence, it's very clear that there is a level of disconnection between how Aizen views Terrence versus how Arlo and Sarah views Terrence, being that Arlo and Sarah clearly have more of an intense view towards him, while Aizen doesn't really notice anything different about him. Though despite Arlo's suspicions and whatnot, Aizen is actually shocked that there would actually be the suspicion having some level of validation. But if I were to give my honest opinion, Terrence, he probably does have some level of connection to some level of organization and whatnot. But what grabbed my attention more as a reader was what the conversation led to and what would follow, being mainly about Sarah asking Aizen about information about Claire in New Boston. This goes to show that Sarah, despite in the previous chapter saying that she has her own problems and she wants to focus more on Terrence, she still wants to learn more about John and John's past and potentially what his relationship with Claire was or just honestly probably basic information on who she is. I also am glad that we actually get to see information on Claire within this chapter, even though it is near the closing end of the chapter, this is where we get a lot of information on her. So based off what we see, she is a level 2.3. The comments on her is actually genuinely positive. It's also interesting that when we get pictures of her as Aizen is looking her up, they are particularly with John. I also found it very amusing that Aizen clearly seems to have a sort of crush on Claire. But then as I stated before, the chapter then concludes with Blyke walking in and we just get another humoristic interaction between Blyke and Aizen. My overall and ultimate take would definitely be that this chapter is setting itself up for something bigger. This wasn't supposed to be the groundbreaking chapter as we get 
huge dynamic between John and Sarah or really Sarah and Terrence. This was mainly just to be about information gathering as the characters as well as us the readers are learning more and more about this mysterious Terrence character who we didn't really know much about but has now gathered a lot of attention despite his initial perception. But of course, these are my opinions and I would love to hear yours. What do you guys think of this chapter? Do you guys agree with my takes? Do you feel that there's something that I have missed in my discussion and my analysis? Please let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think of Aizen taking more of a different approach in this chapter? What do you guys think of Sarah and Aizen and their shifted relationship from what it was at the start of the chapter or the start of the series. What are you guys' takes? Let me know all of that in the comment section below. And if you have any recommendations on what other type of series I should review, I also do other than web comics, even though I know Ordinary is the only web comic I currently review, I also review mangas, anime, and cartoons. Let me know all of that in the comments below. But of course, that concludes the video. Bye.